Like my first job was working in a hotel in the kitchen doing the pots. Mm. I lived in. And then I went on to doing care work. Done care work and with people with mental health problems for 17 years. And then I went on to when I was pregnant with Ella. And I always wanted my first child to be a girl. And I always wanted my first grandchild to be a girl. And I think I got them two things of you know in life that I wanted and then uh, and then all the happy things come yeah after that sometimes in life we strive to get where yeah. we're in a position of happiness and it just takes different times for different people it takes yeah I've, I've got lots lots and lots of happy memories and that and my family and always will Ella, when she, you know, was working, she had Johanna. I used to look after her when she was a baby, so Ella could go back to work. And she's got a lovely little boy, my great grandson. Great grandson. They're, they're the really happy memories I'll always cherish. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Yeah, I left school in '45. And um, that's when I was born. Forty, yeah, forty-six was the year the war ended, in it? So I, yeah. Um, in the March of that year, being on where my dad went, we were right out in the country, not being anywhere where you could get to good jobs and things. Um, there used to be a land army. The lady used to come round to um, look after the land army girls, you know, sort them out, their uniform, because this is all through the farm. She used to come there once a month. Apparently, she said, she said to somebody at the farm, did, uh, did they think that, uh, did they know of anybody who might like to live, to go to live with her as a companion? She didn't have any children. And no. um, I wouldn't get much money because I was really going to live with her, you know, and to be company. And that was lovely life, really, because she used to take me out and about and do things. And, yeah. um, and she taught me no end of it, you know, all sorts of... It was more like being part domestic service. I didn't do the heavy, so we had a man and a woman come in to do that. But I always remember that every week she'd bring the cinema things home and she'd say, oh, you know, would you like to go here? Would you like to... I'd, I'd never had a life like that. <coughs> and... Um, I was there until uh, at 16 and a half, so I'd only been there about a year and a half. And uh, my husband to be was home on leave from the services, and I used to walk, watch him walk back and forwards past the uh. look of him. And he'd ask somebody who I was. Well, that's how it all happened anyway. And I was with her for, uh, and I used to see him on the sly. I'd say I was going out with one of the girlfriends or doing something all the time. <laughs> and, um, I stayed with this boyfriend right up from 16 and a half, I'm married him at 22. Oh. And uh, as I say, I stayed with him regardless of what anybody said, and they were a lovely family. It just was the fact that there was five boys in the family and in the village because everything that went wrong was those boys. And uh, then I've had a lovely life yeah. because I was married at 22 and I had my baby at 24. And he's 64 now and I'm still here at 88. Oh, wonderful. What a lovely nice. story. Yeah. 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 Very nice. A yeah. lovely husband. Mm. Yeah. How wonderful. No grumbles. Yes. It's, lovely. It's, it's lovely to have a memory of the, of the lovely life. Yeah. Yeah. With this, being with this lady for those years, she made me what I am. I worked at Lesney's when I left school with Lesnies. matchbox toys. Yes. Oh. I used to sit and hand paint them. Oh. Yeah. Oh, how nice. I loved it, yeah. It's really used to go in in the morning, mix your gold paint <coughs> up, and then um, you had to get it just right. You couldn't just couldn't just do anything. It had to be right. And it was a lot of it you had to do with a very fine Freeze brush. Me, yeah. So it was, you know, didn't go everywhere. It, it like was that. good. I yeah. like that. It was cold, and then um, I went to train as a window dresser. 
That wasn't so good because you got people taking the mickey out of you and you're standing in the window with the nude models, you know. Um, had quite a bit of stick. But uh, then I went back to Lesney's. <laughs> was it near Hackney Marshes, the Lesney's one? Yes. Yeah. And then they opened the new one, Lee Conservancy Rose. Mm. So I went <coughs> back to the new yeah. one. It wasn't quite the same. I still did hand painting, but they also put me on machines and I didn't really like that much. The job I, I really remember was um, Marshall's yeah. amplifiers. Oh, yes, the amplifiers, yeah. yeah, yeah I, used, I used to make them. Did you really? All the pop stars that used to come in, it was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's... Uh, Marshall's. Well, Orbison was one. Yeah. Uh, Cliff Richard. Uh, Marshall Wilde. The carpenters put the, the shelves, the, the, sh the cabinets together, and we filled them. Right. And then, plus with the amplifiers as well. We built the whole lot. Yeah. Quite a few of them out there has got my name on it. Really? Yeah. This was made by David Geary, such and such a date. Because yeah. those vintage amps, yeah. people love them, don't they? Yeah. And then I worked up to be a full one. Oh, yes, it was very good. It's but then they moved further out, so I, I left. Yeah. So I became a bingo caller. Bingo caller, yeah. Mm. The whole, because we worked on benches, the, we had four benches, and each bench had their own thing to put in. Yeah, different parts, components. Yeah, yeah. put their names in. Unbelievable. And the boss used to work the, work the surface. And he'd tell us, you know, oh, about time you bought some teas, isn't it? But we'd have to go and get them. Or we'd go and say, come on, tea time. And he'd go and buy the teas. <laughs> <laughs> he was brilliant. He really was. He was really absolutely fantastic. Jim Marshall. And of course, no, look, about six months ago, I was on television. Oh. So what it was. It was, it was called Play It Loud. Oh, that's right. You dropped it. It was called Play It Loud. Right. And it was 50 years of Marshalls. Oh. And there's me on the bench. Twice. Oh. On TV. Is that on the BBC? Uh, it was BBC, yes. Rubbish. That's good. Hey. Absolutely fantastic. Look out for that all on the iPlayer. It went through the whole lot. All my mates that were there. I, I, well, it was unbelievable. Heartbreaking. Choked, I really was choked as well. I'm all there working. Oh, yeah. It was great. And you can't, believe it or not, you can't miss me because I was there with what was called a tank top <laughs> and my hair was so white it just stuck out. Yeah. And that's me on the bench. We're going to look out for that. But she can't jump. I can, I can jump. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Her feet don't come off the ground. <laughs> 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 you all do, so I'm jumping. Can you, um, I'm just shot, man. You no. jump. <laughs> can you really think of a cool. moment where you'd need, what was the situation where you'd need to jump? Yeah, if you were skipping, but I'm, I don't skip. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to skip. You see, no, I, I was skip. thinking... I could still skip, you know, I might lose some weight if I'd done that. <laughs> she can't jump, so she can't skip. Well, me, but he won't go up there. <laughs> just show him how you do no, it. Very good. Don't no, but you can't go that much. Just don't jump off the floor. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I got yeah. everything in it, but it made me all last time, didn't it? Yes. I was doing you all. Really concentrate. I am going to. Yeah. Okay. Now. <laughs> oh, Do you want that one? If you want to do that.